It's a really interesting thought, isn't it, to, uh, to mm -hmm. go and view care homes for yourself. Is that, is that something you would ever look into? It's really ever funny, think about? isn't it? Because we often talk of, we often talk about care homes and what we would For do your with parents our own parents. Or, yeah. And it, it, it struck me that I'd never thought of that. Mm. I'd never thought that actually you could take yourself off and go around and have a good snoop around yeah. and meet people and and make your own you know your own judgments. But then also what came up to me, it's really came to me as it's really strange. I would like fight tooth and nail. I would not. I would want my parents with me and right. and and. And, and I maybe question that because I don't want that for my kids. And so why am I demanding that that's what must happen to well, my you parents, don't want your, even your if they don't to, want to, to look after you? I wouldn't want my kids to. I would want to go in a home. And this really appeared. I mean, I love, I'm a massive fan of Sheila Hancock because I also loved all the other things she was saying about getting older and, you know, lots of swimming and yoga and yeah. listening to young people's music, dressing fabulously. She's got a, a young, you know, a, 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 she's given a mind. And, and, it, and, and why not? Why, why should you leave that up to other people? Um, with all the trauma that must go go alongside finding a home, why, why not do it yourself? Well, also as well, it's it's normally a decision that's made almost too late. Yeah. Once the, the person that you're thinking of putting exactly. into a home, it, it needs it. Because when you're still cuddly nan and you're lovely to have around the house, but yeah. if you're, if you, you know, I'm thinking of myself, if I've then become infirm and a burden yeah. to my children, I would like to know that I've already sorted that out. So for me, so I think it's, I think it's a idea. very difficult subject anyway, because um, I think it's quite disturbing really. Because I, I mean, my father went into a home and I, I remember him closing the door and just weeping to the point where I couldn't stop. And the thought that I'd left this man that I loved so desperately in, in a home. I mean, he needed oxygen and he needed, you know, so he was very ill, but oh, I never, ever, ever got over it. And it's, it's to this day, it, it hurt so much that I left mm. him in this home and but he had to be there yeah i know what you're saying sherry and i i can see how it upset you but there's a story in the paper today that says that in bournemouth in a national health trust in bournemouth they're going to have to take legal action because people will not remove their elderly relatives oh. from the hospital and these people oh. should be going home and should be looked after mm. by their family mm. but the whole hospital is going to grind to a halt so you know, hundreds of people are being told, well, you've got seven days to take your relative away, otherwise we're going to take you to court. And this isn't the first time that it's happened. Mm. Other, other hospitals and other NHS trusts around the country have done that, have threatened legal action. It's almost as if too many people in this country just don't want to face up to their responsibilities and they want someone else to look after but the point, their yeah, relatives. And I agree with you, uh, but with my father, he needed constant oxygen, he needed help, and I physically... I had to earn because I had yes. to help him, and you I took physically responsibility could... for him, and you put him in the place no, where but he, it... you couldn't have cared for him properly. At home, I, I didn't you? know so how you to. Did the right, I didn't know how you to. did the right thing. As far Does as that me, make you think differently about what you well, would do. Well, I was just going to say, mm. as far as, as me, I, I mean, I, I, no, oh God, I would hate Keely to have to cope with me or do anything with me. I just want to, somebody to give me a bottle of gin. <laughs> Be in, in somewhere where I can go, cheers, I'm fine, don't worry about me, you go and have your life. So do you think you, you would choose a place then beforehand? Well, it's like funny Sheila. enough, the Sheila Hancock thing has really made me actually think. Yeah. And I thought, isn't that responsible? Isn't mm. that good yeah. to go? Do you know I what? Let so. me just have a look. Well, What's it going to cost? I, I mm. could go round, but I don't think anybody would want me. <laughs>